No. Yeah, you're teaching very well. Thank you. I, I missed those uh, lessons yesterday, though. Same thing I'm teaching today. The, oh. <laughs> okay. So first three days, we work on concepts. Okay. Okay. For three days, we will be working on concept. Another day, we will be working same thing. Once you understand it, once you understand it, everything will seems to be clear. Okay. I will recap. Now, what is the purpose of creating object? The purpose of creating object is to access or use all the properties, meaning states, mm -hmm. and behavior of the Plus. Now the character can be, two characters can be of object and class. Every class has two characters. Every object has two characters, okay? Remember, the behavior and the state are two characters, two characters of class. It can be also two characters of object. Now, this is very popular interview question. Interviewer loves to ask this question. Hey, Mr. Rudy, could you please tell me why we create object? Hey, Mr. Ignatius, could you please explain why we need to create object? Hey, what is the purpose of creating object? We want they to want access to, all the properties. Yeah, the purpose of creating object is to access, access means use all the properties, fields, attributes, and behavior, meaning method of the class. We are creating this object to access the method and properties or attributes of class, car class. The car class has these properties and this method. And we want to access all these properties and methods. That is why we are creating object. Without creating object, we cannot access or use all the properties and methods. Sir, it is clear, Mr. Ignatius? Yeah. I know, I know. First week, second week, it can be a little bit confusing, but it will be clear within second week, okay? Once you understand this, this much that I teach you today, mm -hmm. we are ready to start automation. We can now start automation, okay? This is the core concept of any programming language. If you understand it, you will understand rest of the things, rest of the concepts, okay? This is the core concept. This is the fundamentals. Okay? Okay. You must understand it. Without understanding, you cannot proceed. You cannot go further. Okay? First, you have to understand what I have taught today. All these things. Okay? Now, <clears throat> I say the purpose of creating object is to access or use all the properties and methods or behavior. This is methods. 
or behaviors. Properties are states, right? Mm -hmm. You can differentiate it now, right? Yeah. Now, if you just run this or execute it, we also uh, call it testing. Okay, we are testing whether these are functioning well. Okay, you see, it's just printing the part of the object where it is stored in my computer. But we are not using it, we are not accessing it, we are not using this, right? Still, we don't have access to access or use all these methods and properties, we have to create object and we created object. Now let's see how we can access it. Let's in practical, let's see. We know the theory, now we can access, okay? Now let's see how we can access, how we can use, how we can use these properties, how we can use this method, okay? Now, method can be n number, okay? We can have 50 methods inside class. We can have 100 methods inside that class, depending how big the application is, okay? Let me, let me copy this method. I just copy, control, Command C and Command V, right? I yeah. just copy it. You see, there is red mark. Why? Because you cannot name same method name. So it can run and it can stop. stop. Say for example, stop and say, this is stop method okay now suppose I want to I want to oh, execute this meaning I want to access it I want to use it I want to use it, say for example. Now, to use it or to access it, to run it, to make it working, I have to create. use, I have to create object. I created object, now I can, how I can access, okay. How I can access, how can I access, meaning use the methods and properties? The answer is I can access the methods and properties creating object first i have to create object then then i have to use a reference variable to the object. Remember, not the object, but I have to use reference variable to the object with dot operator. Dot, operator. dot is just this one is dot dot operator now this is also very 
popular interview question. How you can access properties and methods? To access methods and properties, we have to create object. Then we can access using the reference variable with dot operator. Now, this is theory. Now I want to show in practical how I can access. I can say reference variable. What is reference variable? Car one, right? Then dot operator. I say dot operator car one. Okay. Something wrong. What happened here? Ooh, 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 ooh. It should be working. Car one, then dot. When I put here dot, it should show me all the properties, all the properties and methods, but it's not showing me, okay? That's really doesn't make sense. Let me see what happens. Any wrong, anything wrong. Okay, let me check what it's saying. Multiple markers at this line, syntax error. Syntax error, syntax error, insert variable declarators to complete local variable declaration. Okay, now, where is variable? It's saying there is syntax error. Usually syntax error happens when we forget to put uh, Quotations. Semicolon, sometimes quotations. Okay, now let's see. Let me check each and everything. Did we put semicolon everywhere properly? I see there is semicolon, there is semicolon. What else? That's it. Okay. And uh, there, the method. The method. The method is here. Stop after stop. Where is stop? Stop. Uh, the okay. sub method and print align. And there is a parenthesis in, inside. Is oh, yeah. There's no that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hmm. not legal to put here another parenthesis, okay? Because when I'm putting here parenthesis, yeah, yeah. Inside the collection, this is relevant. Still, yeah. it's not working. Okay, oh. let's check. This public static void name, da, da, da. What else? Definitely. There is curly braces. Let's see. Yeah, check whether can... there is extra curly braces, maybe curly somewhere. Braces. Let's check. Double check. Mm -hmm. uh, the car sh should be capital letter. Oh, this no, one? No, no, no. no, 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 no. This is reference variable. Yes. Yeah, okay. Let me just put with car and see what happens. Okay. What is it saying now? Let's check. Multiple markers at this line. There is no marker anymore. Let me check. 
let me make it smaller to check it. It shouldn't make any problem. No. Dot operator. Semicolon. Public static white main. Arcs. Curly braces. Something wrong somewhere. Okay. Let's check. System dot print Allen system out print Allen. I find no mistake. Multi line. Okay, it should not. comments. Okay, I don't find any mistake yet. It's <coughs> there is something wrong. I think okay. there's a uh, there's a uh, double semicolon up. Can you scroll up? I saw something maybe double I'm not wrong. Yeah, where uh, a string name Tesla and then string go inside quotation marks. And then two, the last part. Oh, this so, one? Yeah. Does it need to be one? Or yeah, two? yeah. It, it's really it in the comment. No, no problem. It is inside the comment. So comments, it is uh, not a problem. Ah, okay. Okay. Let's try to work on it. Sometimes we should not read the uh, IDE, okay? I don't trust IDE sometimes. Let's try to do what we know. Card one, we can access the methods and properties using dot operator, but it's not showing, but I want to use it. Uh, stop, okay? So I just copy the name of the method and I paste here. Okay, and I put semicolon. If there is no more red mark, we can access it. Right? It's working mm -hmm. fine. Now, don't trust my words. You have to test it, whether it is working. We say we can access, we are creating object to access this method and this method and also these properties. Okay, can we access it? It seems everything fine, no red mark. So we can access now, but don't trust until you test it. How you test, you execute, run and see whatever inside this top method gets printed. If we can print it, meaning you can access it, you can use it using car one dot operator. Let's make it sure it's working fine. This is stop method. Do you now believe we can access it? Yes, yeah. now, now, car one dot, you want to use also another method. What method? Run, Run method. Mm. Do you remember the definition of the method? It says method is a block of code. This is block. It starts here and end the block here. Block meaning scope. Okay, hmm. block. Inside the block, there can be one program or there can be 10 <clears throat> programs, 10 lines or 50 lines, even 100 lines, whatever. This is run method. 
I just copy and paste here. And now execute it, whether it can print, this is a method. This is, I can say, run method, right? Yeah. Yeah. It gets printed, right? Yeah. So we can use both method using what using the object. reference variable to the object and if you don't create object you cannot find the reference variable and we use reference variable then dot operator to access the method to access run method and also i said we can also access system dot out dot print ln we can also use or access these variables or properties right so to access this tesla property this is attribute, this is value, or this is variable, this is string inside the variable we store. Now, how we can access? We access with Very, re reference value. A reference okay. variable, then dot, okay, dot, then the variable name okay just i copy and paste here now when the red mark gone meaning we can now access it when you will print it it will print whatever we have inside name variable what we store inside name variable we store tesla Tesla. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you can make it presentable. How you can say the name of yeah. the car uh, is Tesla. Okay. Tesla. Close the quotation mark. Quotation mark. Why? Because the name of the car is these are string string okay whenever you use you string whenever you use string put inside the quotation mark it can be single quotation or double quotation but if you use double quotation always you have to use double quotation if you use single quotation you have to always use single quotation this is convention convention means rule that you oh, have to follow. Hmm. But what is Here? the most common double? Most common is double, yeah. Double, okay. Double. To practice, you can use single, but in the project, uh, you will be using double correction. But there is definitely uh, a rare example. Your project manager might tell you we are using single quotation to save our time. Thousand times we are putting double quotation, meaning we are spending thousand seconds and hundred engineers spending thousand seconds. We want to save time. Remember, always you will find some rare people, you know, exception. Okay, now, mm -hmm. So now you can just copy, okay? But remember, once you learn, once you learn everything, we copy 80% in our project. We copy 80%, copy and paste 80% and we just quote 20%. I will show you how we can do it, not now, after we complete 
at least two months practice. Okay. Because okay. if I teach you to copy, you will be copying and you will not be typing and your typing speed will not be increased. I don't want to teach you to copy and paste. Now, I will teach you at the end how to copy and paste and make the uh, frameworks very quickly, okay? In the mm. project, maybe some of your colleagues are taking five days to create a framework and you are creating in just one day. Because mm. you put somewhere a uh, framework, copy and paste, and you just change a little bit. Okay? But most of the engineers are just coding, 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 coding. They don't copy and paste. Okay? But to copy and paste, you have to become expert first. Okay? Mm. Now, I want to access price of the car. So how I can access? I just remove name Okay, and say price, right? Mm -hmm. This is not name. Now you can say the price. Price of the car is this. Okay. Now, if you understand it, if you understand up to here, this is the core concept of programming language. Now, on top of it, we can learn other concepts and master on Java program, okay? Now, can you create any class? It can be human being, it can be car, it can be TV, it can be cell phone, whatever. Create two properties, create two methods, then Inside the main method, create an object, then access all the methods and properties you declare and define or create it. Can you do it? Yeah. Try to do it together. Who will code? Someone has to code and other people let me try to code and, 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 and Ignatius and whoever will help. <laughs> uh, who, is, who is there? Who is there? Okay. Okay. I will be watching you. Okay. I will be watching you. What you are doing, but I'm not telling you right now. Uh, maybe take 20 minutes. Okay. And 10 minutes more, we will be discussing on it. So take maybe teacher, take teacher plus, okay? Take teacher as a class, teacher, okay? okay. Now take five minutes break, then join the class again. Take five minutes break, just get out from the chair, take a glass of water or grab a cup of coffee. Okay. Can you keep stretch this? stretch can, out. Can you keep this is uh, screen, Babu? I'll just study. Yes. I can keep it or I can just copy send, yeah. and, and send, send it. it. Thank you. Yes. Send it. Yeah, I can send it. And so what class are you using? You are using teacher, teacher class. Teacher. Teacher, teacher I, Ignatius. Yeah, I <laughs> send, I just copy. Why it is not being copied? I copy. 
copy okay and send inside the chat it's not box, yeah. it's not being paste why maybe too long are okay. you the host oh. i'm the host right yeah yeah i i am the host you see but still it is not allowing me to do it okay let me just copy and email it okay I'm sending it in email. I just copy again, make sure, and sending it on email. Take five minutes break, then join back. Work 20 minutes, and 10 minutes we will fix it if you make any mistake, okay? Thank you so much. Join within five minutes back. Mm-hmm. 